Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Al Holland Show here live from B-Dubs as we'll talk about everything you like football, and we're here with uh, Coach Al Holland. Al? Hey, good win this past week, and uh, great to be on the show tonight and uh, get to talk about this past week and, and talk about uh, next week's opponent, Point University. Well, I thought we had a good start last week. Your kids came out, played hard, both sides of the ball, which is, which is good. Uh, you know, and I think that's a reflection of last week's practice, Monday and Tuesday. You know, I really uh, pat them on the back on the effort and enthusiasm they brought to practice, and, and it carried over to Saturday's ball game. And, uh, you know, we moved the football offensively uh, early in the game, sustained drives, uh, and, and really, you know, controlled the clock and managed it really well. Defensively, you know, guys started making plays, being in position to, uh, to make those plays and just playing with a lot more effort and, and, and flying to the football. And sometimes, hey, that'll help make up for a mistake, you know, when, when you got all 11 guys flying to the ball. It does. You know, and I thought that uh, you, you did a real job managing field position, mm -hmm. kept, uh, kept, the, kept them in the deep, deep behind the other line, right. make them behind the chains a lot. Yeah, and, you know, I uh, felt like we did a good job defensively, especially, you know, first and second downs early in that game, we did a heck of a job. Third downs we still got to improve on, um, you know, so that's still got to be an improvement there defensively. Offensively, third downs needs to be an improvement. Didn't like our numbers there on, on the day, but, hey, uh, but then, I, you know, I got to go back and pat those guys on the back because then we was in fourth down situations three times, and we was three for three on fourth downs, so a heck of a job there. Uh, uh, converting those, and, and that says a lot. And that, that's able to move those chains uh, to be able to put us in position to, for scoring positions and things like that. And, you know, also, uh, you know, our field goal team there right at the end of the half with a right. big, long 39-yard field goal for, for Will Chandler. That's his longest one so far in his career, and I know he can make them a few yards longer than that. So, uh, you know, we've got the confidence in him, and we got to continue to build on that. Last well, year, you know, you got yourself in really good positions offensively. Right. I thought your running game really set the tone for the yeah. day. And, uh, you know, that, that says a lot about our offensive line. And you'll get to talk to X Willis in a little bit. Uh, you know, him and Willie really complement each other a lot. And we've got our running backs here tonight as well with their quarterbacks. But, uh, you know, Dylan Wheatley had some uh, some big moments for us, especially blocking. But those tight ends involved in that run game as well. But, uh, you know, the offensive line continues to grow as, as a group. And, uh, you know, they, they've done a great job and continue to get better and better. And, uh, you know, as those guys go, our running game goes. I thought they gave you good protection in the past game too. Gave, yeah. gave uh, Bowen time to really set up right. and and look at the field. No, I thought he did a good. I thought Bo did a heck of a job this past week, as in going through. Hey, one's not open, two's not open. Hey, let me check this thing down to the backs and let me get down to three because hey, they're trying to get deep underneath some of those routes, and and we came back down to our backs, and hey, they converted some of those to be in first down. Uh, you know, throwing catches, and, and that helps us move the chains. Well, I thought they tried to throw a few blitzes at you, and he, he got yeah. the hot reads right, right as well. Yeah, you know, so uh, it's just part of growing and, and growing up a little bit, and that's just part of it, and those guys are doing a heck of a job complimenting each other and, and pushing each other every day in practice. And then you were able to get the short passing game and then got a couple of long ones on right. as well. Yeah, you know, we, we sort of mixed it up, just took advantage of what they gave us and, uh, you know, trying to set some different plays up throughout the day and just based off some formations and, and uh, things that we knew they was going to get into defensively so that way we could sort of exploit them a little bit in the passing game. But it, it all goes around that running game. When you get the ball, when you're able to run the football, you know, they got to add more people to the box and now you can take some shots vertically down the field. But then, hey, now you get to soften them back up and now you can come back to running that ball again. Well, it's like we always say, you know, you use one to set the other one up, that's and right. that's that's kind of what you did with the run game. You know, I'm, I'm an old school type guy that says, hey, you're not going to try to put a square peg in a round hole. It's not going to fit. So, you know, let's take what they give us and, um, you know, let's help us to be successful out there. You know, being able to set the tone of the game, and you did that early. You took your opening drive, able to move it down the field, and once you set the tone and make them do things they're not comfortable with. Right, and, you know, that's hats off to our, you know, our return team gets great field position to start with. You know, you're able to move the chains, uh, you know, convert some, some big plays going down through there to score, and then, um, you know, even our special teams, I, I thought we're continuing to improve there. You know, we still got a little ways to go, but uh, when you're solid in special teams, you got a chance to win and be in every ball game as well, too. You know, I thought your uh, secondary played a little bit better and, and gave gave you a little more opportunity. Sure did, and uh, we're, we're starting to get a little healthier. You know, you'll get uh, Jay Green back this week, so that'll help. You'll get to talk to Cedric Thomas, a freshman that, you know, recovered a fumble in the end zone, also recovered the fumble for a touchdown, you know, and is having a heck of a freshman year for us. Uh, but, you know, those guys, you know, just, just continuing to grow week in and week out. Chris Dublin's back. You know, he's now another week healthier from his injury a couple weeks ago. And uh, Sean Cook's doing a heck of a job uh, for us. So being that senior leader in the back end. So 
Uh, you know, as we get healthier and, and starting to get more guys back there, we you know we get a little more depth, so so that helps us as well too. And you were really able to go deep into your running back core uh, this week and get a lot more experience out there yep. and get a lot of rest. You know, and, and, and that's big for us. Uh, we got some really good backs in this program right now, and, and those guys complement each other. Each one brings something different to the table for us, and, and that's big for us in, in the long run and, and in the long haul this season too. Well, that's true. You know, you got speed. You know, Thunder and lightning kind of thing, as yeah. they would say, when you bring Willie in one time. Willie's kind of yeah. your power back, runs up the middle, and then X can just kind of, he can make people miss and make yeah. the big plays. You know, both of them bring a lot to the table for us. And, uh, you know, X has been great in, in space for us and, and being able to, to make guys miss one-on-one. -on -one, uh, and, uh, you know, some of his big runs have now become between the tackles and, and trying to get him there to understand that. And he's starting to understand it more and more, and that's why you start to see the more yards uh, per game uh, each and every outing out there for him well, you know it's a lot easier for them to uh, do, do it that way yep. looks like we're about ready for our first break so we'll take a break and be right back on the Al Holland show Appalachian Wireless is gearing up for smartphone season. And we say, out with the old and in with the new. That's right, during smartphone season, when the latest and greatest smartphones are released, bring in your eligible smartphone device to Appalachian Wireless, trade in and upgrade to one of the hottest smartphones. Samsung fan? How about $100 off the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9? Just another reason why Appalachian Wireless proves better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless, an East Kentucky network company. To your agreement required. At times like these, a small business has to work smart to make it. Gearheart Broadband can help. We've got the business-grade services you need for less. With the fastest small business internet speeds available today, the peace of mind that comes with a 24-hour Microtech local customer support hotline and our commitment to grow when you do with a scalability that's both fast and flexible on our reliable network. Make the smart choice. Call or visit imctv.com today. This summer, you need to enjoy family time. Don't worry about things like this happening. Stand out from the pack. Choose a local security company that cares. Get Microtech. Take advantage of our new summer specials. Check this out. Get a basic wireless security system with not one, but two cameras for only $39.95 per month, plus six months free monitoring. Wow! All new signups are entered to win a 55-inch Samsung QLED TV. With Microtech, Welcome back to the Al Holland Show Ready here at Buffalo Wild Wings. We're with X Willis, uh, one of the running backs. I guess the starting running back from you, Pike, is X has got the starting nod here in the last uh, few games and had a good game Saturday. Yes, sir. Had a, well, you had almost over 90 yards. Well, actually, you had over 100, and that one, that one kind of cost yeah, you a little bit. I went back on my last play. I ended up with 97 on the ground. That's a nice start for you, X. Yes, uh, sir. Of course, I've been watching you play since your days at Belfry, and I've seen your, seen your potential all along. And really, this, this this year you've seen a lot. You kind of uh, stepped it up a notch this year. You're able to really get through the middle of the line, do a lot of stuff on the inside, still just going around the out. Yes, sir. Um. But I can hit it north and south now, and I can still get east to west too. Well, that's the nice thing about this offense is it it's a lot like that Belfry offense. Only it's probably it's 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 still an option offense. Yep. But it's just a different set. Yep, we're just in the shotgun. We're still reading if you can hand it, run it, or pass it. You caught a few more passes here than you did at Belfry. Yeah, yeah, we throw it a whole lot more. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, the thing you I've really noticed about you this time is you've been able to get through the middle, make a couple of moves, and, and pick up a lot more positive yardage than trying to stretch it out the outside. You've been more unpredictable. Yes, sir. Yep. I like, you know, saw that Saturday you were able to make a lot of the, got a spin move I hadn't seen much of before. Yeah, it's, it's new stuff I'm trying. Yeah, I'm working on my craft and new things come. College football is just a whole lot different because it's not always about the big run. You know what I mean? I'm just getting up the middle, making a move, like you said, and just trying to get some positive yardage. Uh, tell a lot of people about the difference in the speed of the game from coming from high school into college. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what took 
the most time to adjust to. The speed was just a whole lot faster. I mean, as soon as I get the ball, it's just like people are flying around everywhere. But it took time, and I've, I'm starting to get it now. Well, now that you've been with this offensive line group and everything, you all really understanding each other. Mm -hmm. And even people don't understand, even the offensive line, they have read blocks that they make, and you had to kind of play off of their block in order to go up the middle. And that's what took time to learn, wasn't it? Yes, sir. It took took them time to get a little more comfortable and experienced than me as well. And now that we're on the same page, that's why the run, the run attack is working so well. Yeah. And, and, you know, we've kind of emphasized the run a little bit more this year, trying to use the run to set up the pass, and that kind of gives you more opportunities. Yes, yes. If we can get the pass working first, it's going to open the run up. And same thing, vice versa. You know, I thought Saturday you really did a good job getting the run established early. You know, you had some really nice runs. Uh, you know, had a really good average on the day. Yeah, I did, I did. A lot of that goes to the O-line, though. I want to give them the glory because with them playing like they're playing, that leads to my success, so, yep. You know, and, of course, getting used to playing with Bowen full-time. I know he was kind of the – he kind of stepped in late in the season last year and you got a chance to learn him, but how much – how hard is it to get to know – you got to get to know your quarterback as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, me and Bo, we played a little bit our freshman year together, so – and – practice all the time for the last three years so we're comfortable with each other I like being out there with him you know that makes a big difference when you run when you understand his thinking too because you know a lot of when they start pulling the ball out and, and everything on that run option it's a little bit yeah. different yeah because you, you know he does good with it he makes the right read sometimes yeah. yeah at Belfry you know it was a lot more you get a lot more pitches and now you're getting the uh, direct handoff 90 yep. percent of the time yep I like it I like the handoff as well and sure. then you're also doing a lot of the little screen passes, and you're, you're, you're really the hot read a lot of times for him mm -hmm. when things get bad. You're playing protection, and you'll take off and yeah. get into the pattern. Yeah, if he gets rushed, he can just dump it right off to me. I like that. I got, I got a lot of yards off that this past weekend. Yeah, which actually goes down as a rushing yard if you catch it behind the line of scrimmage, yep. so it, make, it helps your numbers a whole lot, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I know you don't really worry about those numbers as long as you get the win. That's yeah. the big number to get. Yeah, that's the main focus. And, you know, like I say, Saturday I thought that uh, – that everybody having an extra running back in the backfield makes a big difference for you too. With with Willie back there, that gives you a chance to take a couple plays off, and both of you can have strong legs throughout the game. Yes, we keep fresh legs in there, and it's been very productive for us. You know, you you really you really like to get out into space and and use your speed, which yeah. you know, you've been blessed with. Yes, sir. I know. Um, as far as you know, this offense is kind of really tailor made for somebody like you who can catch the ball and and who can. You can run through the reads. Yes, sir. Yeah, it is. I, I like this offense. So, you know, a lot of different things. How hard is it to get used to getting the uh, hand signals from the sideline instead of going into a huddle every play? Um, it's, it's not hard because, I mean, a lot of times I just let the quarterback get it and he'll yell it out real quick. So it's simple. And I like to keep the fast pace going like that too. Well, I think that's really good for a running game because that makes the defense have to sit faster mm -hmm. and make make a quicker decision. So it gives you a chance to read off of them yep. a, a little easier because, you know, they're indecisive before they start. Yep, and we keep them tired and keep them on their toes. and That's our style of offense, so it works well for us. Well, good. I mean, things are going really well right now. You finally get, get that win, getting ready to uh, make the trip down to point this weekend. Uh, what do you know about them? They beat us last year, and they should. And it was, it was, it was a close one. We got to be able to pull those close games out at the end. But we ran the ball well on them. I've been watching film on them recently, and I think it's going to be a competitive game. And they're good, and but it, we can win. We can win this ball game. I know their athleticism kind of matches yours. They're a lot, li a lot like the way we play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. All right, looks like it's time for our next break. We'll take a break, and we'll be back with the Al Holland Show here at Buffalo Wild Wings. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original overhead door. You've got enough to worry about. Oh. So keep your Wi-Fi worry-free with our Meshify managed Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. 
A GearHeart technician maps signal strength throughout your home. Then we install Meshify Wi-Fi extenders at key locations to deliver strong Wi-Fi that keeps all your devices running smooth. With no dead zones, relax with worry-free Wi-Fi. Available now from your friends at GearHeart Broadband. Call or click to learn more. No matter how you connect, GearHeart Broadband delivers fast, reliable internet and Meshify Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device, all at once, with local experts ready to help. Connect to faster internet. Connect to Meshify Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click imctv.com to upgrade today. Appalachian Wireless is gearing up for smartphone season. And we say, out with the old and in with the new. That's right, during smartphone season, when the latest and greatest smartphones are released, bring in your eligible smartphone device to Appalachian Wireless, trade in and upgrade to one of the hottest smartphones. Samsung fan? How about $100 off the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9? Just another reason why Appalachian Wireless proves better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. To your agreement required. In times like these, a small business has to work smart to make it. Gearheart Broadband can help. We've got the business-grade services you need for less with the fastest small business internet speeds available today. The peace of mind that comes with a 24-hour Microtech local customer support hotline and our commitment to grow when you do with a scalability that's both fast and flexible on our reliable network. Make the smart choice. Call or visit imctv.com today. This summer, you need to enjoy family time. Don't worry about things like this happening. Stand out from the pack. Choose a local security company that cares. Get Microtech. Take advantage of our new Welcome summer Welcome back to the Al, Al Holland Show here at Buffalo Wild Wings or Cedric Thomas. And, uh, but two see, cameras you did a pretty good game Saturday. For only $39.95 per yeah. month, plus uh, six months so free monitoring. Wow. All well, new sign-ups are entered to win a 55-inch Samsung yeah, you need to have that first one really big because that stopped them on their drive. He's able to pick that ball up. And, you know, came back out to the 20, so they were down in their clothes looking like they were ready to score. So that was, that was a big gap to your team. Yes, sir. I uh, actually thought, well, I didn't cause the fumble, just picked it up. Yeah. Teammate caused it, but it was great teamwork. Um, that week, or on the sideline, coach has been telling us we need more turnovers, 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 and then we just execute it. So. And then the, the scoop and score was kind of nice, wasn't <laughs> it? <laughs> yes, sir. That felt great. Running into the end zone, that, uh, that's, that felt great. Picking the ball up. Great. This team uh, liked to throw the ball a lot. Made give give you all a lot of a uh, lot of practice out there tonight. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, all week we have been uh, executing, going over coverages, making sure we had everything down. Coach telling us get back in deep third, and we just I think as a as a uh, defensive unit we did everything we could, everything we could. I thought it was a great defensive effort. Uh, I know you said you were from Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes, sir. Said Cincinnati. You what school did you go to? Lakota West. Lakota West. Okay, yes, out of Westchester, is that yes, where it is? Sir. Okay. We just talking. I know my wife's from up that <laughs> way, so, you know, we got a little bit we can talk about. <laughs> but, uh, you know, said you had a couple of interceptions earlier on in the season? Uh, two interceptions. Uh, one, I don't know how, how long it was returned, both uh, second half of the game. Well, but, yeah. Good. Just a freshman coming in, so that's, that's getting a lot of confidence in you putting you out there in the game that early. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I think coach has a lot of trust in me. I trust coach. That's one reason why I came up here. Talking to the coaches, it just felt like family. So him putting me in, I think he trusted me, and I trusted him. And it was just confidence after that. Well, I know that's that's what it takes out there is just teamwork and confidence in your your other teammates out there, especially when you're in that secondary. You're playing the – but you always play a zone. You don't very seldom you play man, do you? Yes, sir. We, we play a lot of zone, lots of zone. And you got to trust. Like the coaches told us, you got to trust trust each other to play your zone and not do anybody else's job. So you got to stick to your zone and trust everybody else that they're going to do their job. Yeah, because a lot of people don't understand, you know, you play, you all play a three-deep zone. Mm-hmm. So you've got a certain area of the field that you have to defend, yep. and you got to know when to let your man go and trust that your teammate's going to pick him up. I trust that he's going to pick him up, and every time I trust, they're there. So, yeah. So far, we've had – I think the defense secondary has been pretty good. you had a bunch of injuries, so got oh, obviously yeah. given a lot of opportunity to some of your younger players like yourself to get into the game. Yes, sir. Uh, with all the energy, uh, injuries, uh, it's kind of set us back. But as a defense, we come together, uh, a couple more kids to join the defensive side. So I think – we're still now getting into the groove with all this energy setting in. So we're not just not getting into the groove, and I think it's going to be great. 
I mean, I thought you like say I thought that may have been your best defensive effort of the season oh, on yeah. Saturday. Definitely, definitely. Uh, with our team coming together, they scored 14 points. Um, hope we were hoping for a shutout, but it couldn't happen. But other than that, defensive line executed. Linebackers did their jobs. Tackles in the backfield from everybody. We had no uh, lot of mi or not a lot of missed assignments. You know, everybody was on their p's and q's that game. So. Yeah, and, and you know, like I say, especially when you're playing zone defense, it's all assignment football. You gotta, you gotta keep your your lanes, your 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 zones clear. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, uh, cover three, our deep zone coverages, or whenever we run, it's a lot of um, a lot of talking. So you have to communicate before the play, after the play, during the play. So it's a lot of communication. It's a struggle, but we're getting through it. Well, especially in these new offenses where they keep moving guys around, you got to remember, you got to know where they're at because there are seams in the zones you really got to make sure oh, to be yeah. aware of. Especially in, uh, like, you get into any coverage, it's always a weak spot in that coverage, but coach has told us to play ball. So to cover three, you can let it go a lot of short routes. Cover two, let it go a lot of deep middle routes. So, I mean, you got to feel the zone, know where uh, weak spots are, and just play play ball. So this, this is, was this your first start? Uh, no, I've been starting since the second game. Second game? Okay. First game I got in at uh, halftime. After that, I've been starting. That's good. You get, got a lot of lot of time left on being only a freshman. Oh, yes, sir. I can't wait. Can't wait to see what this school and this team has to offer me. I tell you, you know, I think glad to see you make the trip up here to uh, to Pikeville. It's actually pretty close. Your parents get to come watch you pretty often. Oh, yeah. I think my mom uh, has came to every game. A couple other family have came to a couple recent games. So, yeah, I got a lot of family support. It's about a four-hour drive, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, four to I'm, five hours. I made that trip way out. You're on the other, really on the back side of oh, Cincinnati, yeah. so it's about a four, a little four and a half-hour mm -hmm. drive for you. I know that it's about a four-hour drive right to Cincinnati to the river right there. You cross the bridge. So mm -hmm. I've been, like I said, I made that trip many times <laughs> over the years that my wife and I have been married. And uh, but it's been uh, great to see you uh, able to step up and jump in there and take the responsibility. And do a pretty good job. Like I say, two interceptions, two fumbles, only just a few games in. That's a pretty good start to a freshman year. Thank you, thank you. And it feels great. It feels great to execute with my team. Not only is it me, but it's a team effort. So yeah, it feels great. Well, that's good. I mean, anything, anything you want to say that we've not covered? No. Uh, go Bears. That's it. Go Bears. All yes, right. Sir. Well, we appreciate you, Cedric, uh, coming by and visiting with us. And. Thank you. Uh, Good luck to you for the rest of the season. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we'll take a break, and we'll be right back on the Al Holland Show here at Buffalo Wild Wings. You've got enough to worry about. Oh. So keep your Wi-Fi worry-free with our Meshify-managed Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. A Gearheart technician maps signal strength throughout your home. Then we install Meshify Wi-Fi extenders at key locations to deliver strong Wi-Fi that keeps all your devices running smooth. With no dead zones, relax with worry-free Wi-Fi. Available now from your friends at Gearheart Broadband. Call or click to learn more. No matter how you connect, Gearheart Broadband delivers fast, reliable internet and Meshify Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device, all at once, with local experts ready to help. Connect to faster internet. Connect to Meshify Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click imctv.com to upgrade today. Appalachian Wireless is gearing up for smartphone season. And we say, out with the old and in with the new. That's right, during smartphone season, when the latest and greatest smartphones are released, bring in your eligible smartphone device to Appalachian Wireless, trade in and upgrade to one to of the, the hottest... Welcome back to the Al Show here at Buffalo Wild Wings. And, uh, Coach, looks like we've got some highlights from uh, this weekend. And if you're ready, we'll put them up for everybody. Yes, sir. But you couldn't ask for no better weather than the first half. Being oh, overcast beautiful, wasn't it? on a 130 Saturday kickoff. <laughs> and then to come out of a halftime, it was pouring the rain. Here was early in the game, a nice uh, block by Darian Leslie out here on the perimeter uh, to help set this up for X right there. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, Jalen Stone continues to improve as an offensive lineman. Here's a nice run by X and, and a little cut back here. Um, and here was, you know, a prime example of what, what I say to our guys, you know, busting their tail to be down there, be in position, and Raekwon Birch, a freshman here, 
running down and, and recovering that fumble on the sideline. And, you know, if he goes half speed, then he, he don't have an opportunity to get there. Here's a nice another run here early in that first half that set up uh, another touchdown. And finally getting Braxton Whitmore on the board this season. Uh, you know, got a lot of double coverage uh, early in the season and, uh, you know, found ways to get him the football this past weekend to get him to score. Here's that field goal we talked about. You know, hats off to that whole unit. You know, it's not just one guy. It's the whole unit that, that sets the tone there, and, and they did a heck of a job there. And Bowen Smith called his own number uh, between him and Matthew Fields, the center there. <laughs> uh, little quarterback sneak there. So, and they got that option at any point in time. But, uh, you know, just look at all the guys flying to the ball. You know, we, hey, we missed a tackle, but you got somebody else there, and then we end up creating a strip, and, and then said ends up picking it up to take it for a score here. So big play there, and um, you know here's a nice play by uh, Frills. You know, uh, um, you know another redshirt freshman that, that contributes and, and getting better and better. And Duke Ferguson here on our, our little trick play. Uh, we give him a hard time for not putting this one out there, but he's like, Coach, I overthrew it in practice. I didn't want to overthrow it in the game. So um, nice play here. You know, we, we bend, but we didn't break, and creating a turnover and guys being around the football to be able to jump on it here and, and to sort of seal the deal uh, late in this ball game and a, and a heck of a job by our guys. But, uh, you know, we go to point this weekend and we're on the road. So, uh, you know, we'll see how we handle uh, a little bit of success. So, you know, and, and really, really challenging these guys to, you know, to push the tempo and practice here. And they did a great job last night. And we'll see how it goes tonight once we get out there and then again on Thursday for a perfect Thursday practice. Well, you know, that's a good little bus ride down to point. Yes, so sir. So, you know, that'll be about a seven, seven and a half hour trip for us. And, you know, we'll get up Friday morning and hit the road. And, um, you know, so we'll end up missing class on Friday, but then we'll stop at, at a high school down there in Georgia and, and have her run through practice and, and get after it, break a sweat, and, and get her legs back underneath us. And then we'll have a nice team dinner that night and have meetings and, and watch film and, uh, and then get back up that next morning. And it'll be a fast start for us because uh, we'll be about 45 minutes an hour out from, from the stadium. So, uh, we'll have a pregame meal, have meetings, walkthroughs, and, and then get on the bus and get our minds right and, and show up there probably about two, two and a half hours before kickoff to get ready to get going. What do we expect to see out of point defensively? Uh, very athletic team. Uh, you know, got some uh, experience coming back out, out on the perimeter at corner and safeties and a couple linebackers that played against us last year and a couple D linemen that played against us. So, uh, you know, an athletic football team, the guys that like throw their body around and, and go out there and make plays and uh, got two really nice safeties that uh, do a great job in, in being in position to make plays and, and are sort of, as I call them, ball hawks and, and going to get in the football. And they've had some interceptions this year. So, um, you know, we got to play disciplined football for, for 60 minutes and, uh, you know, hopefully wear them down and maybe use our depth uh, as, our, uh, as our advantage. Try to use their aggressiveness against them, try yeah. to boost misdirection stuff. Yeah, so, you know, uh, but, you know, they are athletic and they got some experience. So, you know, we got to continue to work and, um, you know, uh, it, it's just going to be a, a day of different guys that may show up on that uh, chart as, as making big plays for us. So, you know, we got to make those routine plays as well. What about the offensive side of the ball? What kind of offense do they run? Well, they're going to be a spread offense. Quarterback's back from a year ago. Uh, really good receiver, number seven. He He's back, and he's also a return guy and uh, one, of the, one of the probably top wideouts in the league. And, uh, you know, he hurt us a year ago on some big plays. So uh, we got to make sure we know where he's at, uh, you know, uh, you know, contain their quarterback. He's athletic. He can get outside the pocket, can run, but has a strong arm and can make some throws down the football field. And, and we'll lay it out there for their guys to go get it. So, you know, we, we got to get him off the, of, of his target zone, as, as I say, and making him move his feet back there in, in the backfield and, and make him uncomfortable throughout the day so he, he don't get comfortable in being able to, to throw the football. Yeah, with an athletic quarterback, you yep. want to make him think run, yeah, and, and, and then hope make him throw the ball when he's when he's on the run. That's right. So, uh, but you know, we got to keep him contained as well, and uh, defensive line's got to do a great job there, and our backers, and making sure we keep contained and we don't let them uh, get outside of containment on us uh, throughout the day. So, so yeah, overall, it's going to be actually their team really a lot like us then, yeah. as being very uh, athletic and and very right. mobile. You know. Uh, they're a good football team, and Coach does a great job with them. Um, you know, um, they've been in a lot of different type of ball games. You know, a week ago they lose a heartbreaker, 30-29 to 29 at Campbellsville, you know, so on the road. So 
you know, they've been right there in games, but then they, they've been in some low scoring games, 17 to five games, you know, so, um, you, you know, they, they've played all different types of ball games throughout this year. So, uh, you know, we're hoping, uh, you know, that we're ready to play and we got to really focus on us and, you know, continue to focus on those fundamentals and continuing to improve. And I need to see improvement from a week ago to this Saturday uh, to show that, you know, hey, you know, we're bought in, we're doing things the right way and, and, and that paying attention to those little details uh, will help pay off for us to hopefully pull out a win. Well, you say you're going to get a couple guys back, and yep. hopefully that'll help you with getting that experience back. It does, you? and you know, uh, you know, it, it's nice having Josh Irvin back out there practice this week. You know, been out since week two, early in that first half of the, of the second game there, and you know, Jay Green hadn't played the the you know the past week and a half. So, you know, last really last two weeks, you know, he dressed this past weekend, but still wasn't ready to go, and. You know, another corner that's got experience that's played early in the season for us. So, but, you know, other guys have stepped up as well. So, you're starting to build a little bit of depth there defensively, and, and that's going to help pay off. And, you know, it was great having Matthew Fields, one of our centers, back this past week, even though, you know, we rotate some guys in and out to play there. Uh, you know, those, those type of things pay off for us uh, as the year goes along. It does. You know, we're about to the end of our times. We want to thank everybody for watching us here tonight. Yep. want to send the best wishes and good luck for you um, on the trip down. Sure, appreciate it. we got to say hats off to Buffalo Wild Wings for tailgating with the Bears this past week. Did a heck of a job. A lot of great compliments on that. And, uh, you know, our fan support out there on an on a ugly uh, second half rainy day. But I uh, want to say thanks for them and their sponsors tonight. So yeah. thank you. Yeah, but with the win, it made it a beautiful uh, afternoon. It sure did. <laughs> yeah. So for Coach Al Holland, this is Charlie Pinson. We'll see you next week on the Al Holland Show from here at Buffalo Wild Wings.